Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. And the natives are getting restless, especially in Argyle and Butte. This is currently the home to an SNP politician by the name, of course, of Brendan O'Hara, the brute in the suit, the man who likes to throw his weight around, beat them with a stick and tell them what to do, keep the troops in line. But it seems that old Brendan may be in trouble. He's not doing so well in the polls. The Conservatives, oddly enough, are riding very high. And this is all down to the public perception that the SNP aren't very good. And they're right, but they have much to be right about. Because in Argyll and Butte, of course, they were going to freeze the council tax until the council backtracked. They've had problems with ferries. They've had problems with the NHS. They've had problems with everything. And slowly but surely, the SNP are being found out and they're being rejected. And it is a good thing to behold. And so they are up in arms. They're pushing for their new campaign um, slogan about getting the SNP out. And the Tories are riding rather high. It's very strange, isn't it? Nowhere else. But here they are. Let's take a look at this to see why the SNP are in trouble. Why the Tories, at least in this part of the world, are resplendent in a growing anticipation of a victory. And why it may be the final days of Brendan O'Hara. Here goes. So the headline says it all. Argyle and Butte locals feel betrayed by the SNP amid the ferry fiasco and tactical voting can get rid of Brendan O'Hara. And of course it must do. Brendan O'Hara is an example of everything that is wrong with the SNP. Aggressive, nasty, brutish. Someone who thinks he has some God-given right to be an MP. He does not, of course. He is far from the ideal person. It's just that somehow... He convinced enough SNP supporters to vote for him. Now, of course, he's been found out. Everything's going wrong all at once. And it's wonderful, isn't it? Amanda Hampsey is hoping to win the Argyle Butte and South Lock Harbour seat, snatching it from SNP MP Brendan O'Hara, who is a front bencher at Westminster and I think the, uh, the chief whip down there as well, isn't he, for the SNP. Uh, Argyll and Butte locals feel they've been ignored and betrayed by the SNP and they should punish Hamza Yousaf by tactically voting the Tories, claiming a budding MP for the area. Local councillor Amanda Hampsey claimed that she was the only alternative to the Nats who can kick Brendan O'Hara from his seat. The region of one of the Scottish government's targets, sorry, Scottish government, Scottish Conservatives, aha, <laughs> Freudian slip me thinks, uh, one of the Scottish Conservative targets ahead of the next general election, as the party only finished 5,000 votes behind the SNP in 2019. Now, by natural sort of swing that we're seeing away from the SNP, that should, on its own, make a big closure. Probably not the full 5,000, but if it's halved to 2,500, say with swing, it doesn't need much to get the Tories in on that seat. And if you are a Labour supporter in that seat, vote Tory for one election. Not because you particularly like the Tories, of course, and it won't make much difference. You're going to have a Labour Party government anyway. But for the sake of one session of Parliament, having a Tory MP, hold your nose, vote it, because what you're not going to have is an SNP seat. Get rid of Brendan O'Hara and help bring to an end the whole of the SNP. Make them bankrupt. Get them down to single figures at Westminster. You can do it. Hold your nose. One vote. Uh, the region is one of the Scottish targets. We've just done that. My apologies. Uh, handling, this is what happens. You go off on a target, hand it, you come back, you forget where you are. Uh, handling of the ferries is one of the key issues in Argyle, Butte and South Lock Harbour, with many islanders living on Islay, Giga and Jura, which makes some excellent single malt, I may add, uh, facing mass disruption due to Calmac's ageing fleet of vessels. Just last year, whiskey distilleries on those islands, there we go, complained about operating hand-to-mouth due to the ship breakdowns, meaning supplies could not get to them. Uh, of all the things, do not stop the supplies to that lot. Uh, earlier this year, the Isley Festival warned that extra sailings needed to be put on or it risks damaging the local economy, with the ferry operator complaining that it did not have enough boats for this. Whose fault's that? Uh, Miss Hampsey was elected to Argyll and Butte Council in 2022 for the first time, representing Oban, South and the Isles, claimed that people locally feel ignored and taken for granted by the SNP. I do like Oban. It's a lovely place. 
Uh, she hit the headlines after her and her 18-year-old son were elected as councillors in the same year. That's unusual, isn't it, as a thing? Uh, she told the Scottish Daily Express, voters in Argyll, Butte and South, uh, South Lake Harbour know that only the Scottish Conservatives are capable of beating Hamza Yousaf's SNP here. They are. It's a strong Tory area. It is only them that can do it. So I say to the Labour voters, hold your nose, vote Tory. You're not voting for the Conservatives, remember. You're voting against the SNP. Ultimately, it's the best thing to do. Uh, she said, as a councillor in Argyll and Butte, she said, I know how betrayed people feel by a nationalist government that has no understanding of or interest in rural and island communities. And we know that is a fact. Anything outside the central belt is terra incognito to these people. They live in their little bubble of Butte house and bollocks, don't they? They don't see anything out beyond the end of their own nose. So how would they possibly know? And that's why they keep coming up with policies that are ultimately very damaging to people out there in the highlands and the islands. Uh, she said, we see everything from the SNP's ferry scandal and the failure to upgrade trunk roads to rural teacher shortages and the housing emergency, which won't be helped by the ban on wood burning stoves in new builds. People feel ignored and taken for granted by the SNP. And they know that. And to punish Hamza Yousaf, they must vote for me, she said, and the Scottish Conservatives. And I agree in this particular seat, Labour vote for the Tories. In other seats where Labour are the second, I say to the Tories, for one vote only, vote Labour. It doesn't make a difference in terms of the general thing. It's going to be a Labour government. But if you can get the SNP out, we can bankrupt them. And that means everybody wins. Uh, the Scottish Tories have called on unionist voters to vote for them in order to kick the Nats out and to give Hamza Yousaf a bloody nose. Mr Ross claimed that doing so would help repeal the Hate Crime Act and could also be the death knell for the First Minister's time in office. The newly formed Argyle Butte and South Lake Harbour seat is a perfect example of why voters should back the party, he said. Um, yeah, I mean, they're, they're going to be close. Um, at the end of the day, Brendan Hire is on a sugarly peg. He has not got enough seats, I think, given the current trend, the current swing. It could be enough as it stands. But let's not take the risk. Do it. Vote Tory in that seat for one election only. Get him out. After that, doesn't matter. All things are fair then. You know, back to square one. Back, fight for your corner. Not a problem. But do so without the taint and the toxicity of an SNP MP anywhere near power again. And it will weaken the leadership and it will weaken the SNP irrevocably. Also, at the next election for Holyrood, do exactly the same thing. Get them out. Eradicate them. Bankrupt them. And send them packing that they never, ever darken our lives again. Coming up. The sooner we can destroy the SNP, the better off Scotland will be for everyone. Every single person in Scotland will feel the difference almost immediately. There'll be a loss of oppression, that feeling of a boot on a human face all the time that you get from this monolithic, hate-filled, overly controlling, micromanaging, awful, immoral, unethical bag of windbags, inept wankers and crooks. Because that's all the SNP really are. They're a criminal organisation that sit atop and outside of the law. They get away with everything they can and they know it. Vote them out, get them out, keep them out and get rid of them forever. Thanks very much for watching. Do please hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, leave a like, leave a comment, please share the video. And until next time, stay safe, stay well, and I will see you later. Bye.